Hello and welcome to our virtual yoga class. We'll begin class in a seated position. So find that comfortable seat. And as you're settling into position, seeing how can you be more attentive with your body right now. We're starting to let go of yesterday and tomorrow. When you're arriving to the mat, you're arriving to your body, you're arriving to your experience. On that note, let's inhale here and exhale, sigh it out. Noticing that the breath is a powerful tool in finding that physical, mental, emotional balance and sense of well being and integration. Inhale here, optional exhale, sigh out, or just a long exhale. Reminding yourself what that breath is like, that fuller breath when we're stressed and we're busy or anxious, we tend to shorten our breath. We tend to disconnect from our breath. So see that the rest of our practice, the rest of our yoga class is an opportunity to plug in. You're plugging into your breath and you're Noticing how the breath supports you as you're exploring your strength, flexibility, and balance. Inhale, belly, ribcage expands, exhale, side out. Your eyes can be closed or they can be open. If your eyes are open, I suggest finding a point across the floor or room, keeping your gaze steady. Take a few moments here to arrive to your seat, to your body, to your experience, and ultimately your breath. Making any subtle adjustments here, place some attention in your lower back. Notice how an active core can support you in keeping a nice long spine. And softly resting on your knees. Notice if there's some unconscious stored attention around the neck or shoulders and see if you can purposely soften and loosen there. Chin is neutral. Welcoming a breath and not forcing the breath. You're inviting a deep long breath, but not one that's uncomfortable. We'll start to release your chin towards your chest and allow your head to hang here. Notice that stretch in the back of the neck, upper back. Once again, paying attention to your breath here. Letting and allowing your head to fall naturally, start to roll your head from one shoulder to the next, either completing a half circle, a semicircle, or dropping your head all the way back so it's a full rotation, a full circle here that you're making with your head. So either that half circle or full circle, you can allow your head to hang on one side a little longer. Find that full benefit here. You're stretching not just the back of the neck or opening the throat, you're noticing the sides of the neck as well. You're also supporting, releasing and opening around the upper back and shoulders. It's all very connected. You're simultaneously very aware of your sit bones, your bones near your glutes, ground and on the floor. It's the full body experience and noticing your breath, neck, upper back, shoulders, sit bones. Well, that's how we start to arrive to the mat and create a little bit more space between your thoughts of yesterday, your thoughts of tomorrow. You're arriving and noticing what's here, what's present. Take a few rounds here. If you prefer to work on some meditation, keeping your head still, take an opportunity to do that. Know thyself. Notice how your body requires you to regulate itself. Inhale and exhale. About three to five breaths, wherever you're at, rolling your head, 
in meditation, three to five breaths, inhaling and exhaling. And this is your time letting go of frustrations and tensions from not just yesterday, but a week ago, two and a half months ago, five and a half years ago. We know the drill, releasing all of that, arriving to this moment. You start to bring your head back to center. If your eyes are closed, you open your eyes and by um, some stretches around our upper body, throughout our arms. Let's lift our arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, and then extend those elbows, palms face up towards the ceiling. There's a separation there, right, between your shoulder blades. Grounded on to the mat. Chest open, lengthen your arms. Now round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Pressing your palms towards the front. Release hands on your knees. We'll shift into a twist, twist, taking our left hand over our right knee, twist towards the right. Using that hand on that knee to support you in this twist so you can grab that knee to intensify the twist. Find a comfortable breath. It's difficult to take deep, long breaths and twists. And then back to center and then opposite side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, palms up towards the ceiling. This time, stretch towards the left. Lengthening your arms here, breathing into your side body, around your shoulder, around your armpit, and then back to center, opposite side. Inhale and exhaling, breathe into your side body, lengthen that arm. Come back to center, release your hands right behind your head. Press your elbows towards the back, that means you're drawing your shoulder blades closer together. Chest is open, inhale here. Exhale, twist towards the left and the right. And then moving quickly between each side or remaining in one side a little longer. Chin is neutral. And start to release that motion, release your hands. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, palms up, chin towards chest, palms towards the front. Take a breath, inhale, exhale around that spine and release. We focus there on our upper body. Let's go ahead and lengthen our legs, stretching our left leg out and pressing our right foot right against our thigh. Just by lengthening the spine and flexing that left, left foot, you're already activating a stretch. Notice that stretch. You're going to invite a slight little bend to your knee. We're going to fold over, keeping our spine long. Our belly reaches towards our thighs. And hands can rest anywhere, thighs, shins, or toes. And breathe into the backs of your legs, especially your hamstrings. Activate that stretch around that calf muscle by flexing that left foot. Inhale, exhale. 
Breathe into that stretch. Allow that breath to support you as you're deepening into your flexibility here. Notice where that boundary is. Breathe into that boundary. See how can you explore it and stretch even deeper into that boundary. Not to a point that's painful. Inhale and exhale, release. Take that right leg out, press your left foot against that right thigh, lengthen your spine, flex that right foot, already activating a stretch in the backs of your legs. Take a moment, inhaling, exhaling. And then belly falls towards that right thigh, hand on this. So you're folding here, breathing into your hamstring, into the back of that right leg, noticing that stretch activated hamstring to the calf, inhaling and exhaling, deep belly breath. Inhale here, exhale. And then after another breath or two, start to release, lengthening here. Both soles of the feet touch. Spine long, start to fold. Elbows can rest on the creases right behind your knees. Five to 10 breaths here, inhaling, exhaling. At any point, inhaling here, exhaling, sighing it out. Deep belly breath, one or two more breaths here. And then start to release. We're gonna go ahead and transition into our downward facing dog. So this is an inversion. You're taking your hands, pressing them onto the mat, lifting your hips. You're in this upside down V. Your heels are lifted. Now you're pressing those palms onto the mat, bringing your chest closer towards those thighs. Breathing into the backs of the legs, inhale, exhale. Arms are active. Inhale, exhale. And then take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. We're gonna take our hands to our shins. Inhale, halfway up. So when I'm inhaling halfway up, my back is flat. Still breathing into my hamstrings. There's a little bend to my knees. My shoulders are relaxed and drawn back. And we do this motion a lot in our sun salutations. So be mindful of that relatively simple pose, but you still want that alignment correct. Heels or feet are about hips with distance apart in your forward fold. Let's press our heels onto the mat, lift our arms up overhead, preparing for a few sun salutations. Hands in front of our heart center. We inhale here, exhale, side out. Release your hands, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, that back is flat, shoulders drawing back, exhale, release. Now you're stepping back into a plank pose here. Legs are extended. 
hands right beneath your shoulders, drop all the way down, inhale up, upward facing dog. So I'm engaging my glutes here to find some support in that upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, generous breath. Inhale, exhale. Take your gaze right between your hands, walk or jump up to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, sweep your arms up overhead, grounding to your feet, your heels. Taking a moment here to ground, right hand pressing against left hand, left hand pressing against right hand, inhale. Exhale, release your hands, arms lift. Spine extends, exhale, fold forward, fold, softening neck and head. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, step back, plank pose. You have the option of dropping your knees on to the mat here. Engaging your glutes for support, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep belly breath in that downward facing dog. Press your hands against the mat. Now take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. You're lifting up to standing, taking your hands right in front of your heart center. Take a moment to ground here, inhaling and exhaling. Third sun salutation, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold down, forward fold, softening neck and shoulders, hands to shins, inhale, halfway up, back is flat. Exhale, release. Inhale, step back into your plank pose. Exhale, release down towards the floor. Inhale up into your upward facing dog and then we meet in our downward facing dog. Breathing to the backs of your legs. Lift your left leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. And then left knee towards that left elbow, hover. And step that leg back, generous breath, inhale, exhale. Lift your right leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. Right knee towards that right elbow, hover. And then take that leg back, generous that breath, deep belly breath from your down dog, plank pose, hold your plank pose. And then release down towards the mat. Inhale up, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe into the backs of your legs. Lift your left leg, bend that left knee, stack your hips. Release that foot back down towards the floor. Generous breath, inhale, exhale. Lift that right leg, bend that right knee, stack your hips. And then release that foot back down towards the floor. Last round, plank pose. Hold that plank pose. And two, one, two, or three breath cycles, activating your core. You have the option of taking your knees onto the mat for the plank pose. You just want to make sure those hands are directly beneath your shoulders. Core is activated. From that plank pose, release down towards the floor. Inhale up, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Deep belly breath in that down dog. Lift your left leg, bend your left knee, stack your hips. Release that foot back down towards the floor. And then opposite leg, lift your right leg, bend your right knee, stack your hips. Release your foot back down towards the floor. Generous breath, sit down into a child's pose, taking a moment of pause and rest. This is a holistic yoga class. So we're taking moments of being active, but also taking moments of being restful, inhaling and exhaling. 
Noticing the benefits of slowing down. Hips are open, knees can be towards the edges of the mat or close together. Drop your chest towards the mat. There's an opening there in the chest and shoulders. Shifting your focus to your breath. Notice your inhale and exhale, perhaps lengthening your breath just a little bit if that supports you in your focus. Lengthen your inhale and exhale if that helps you focus on your breath more. Three more breaths in your child's pose. Then after those three breaths, we'll start to ground our palms on to the mat. Lift up into your downward facing dog. If you need to pedal your feet back and forth here, you can. Opening your hips here, hamstrings. Take your gaze between your hands, walk or jump up to that forward fold. Now from here, we're gonna take our right hand onto the mat. You have the option of resting your forearm onto that right thigh. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Right knee is generously bent. You're opening that left hip. You're in a twist, lengthening your arms up, left arm up towards the ceiling. And then release. Left hand onto the mat or left forearm onto your thigh. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling, opening your right hip, lengthening the arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, release. We're gonna slowly roll up to standing. Lengthen your spine slowly, arms dangle. It's a good physical practice of letting go. You can apply that mentally and emotionally as well. Letting go, slowing down. We're in a mountain pose with hands framing our hips. Inhale here. Exhale, eyes opened or closed. If eyes are open, keep your gaze steady. When our mind is flickering with many thoughts, our gaze tends to dart in many different directions. A steady gaze in your outer. Fingertips spread out, palms open. If I try to move you, it'd be difficult to do so. You're so grounded in this pose, glutes and core active, heels firmly grounded on the mat. And then release that mountain pose. Shift here into a warrior two, taking that left foot forward, right leg steps back. Right foot in a diagonal, 90 degree bend to that knee. Hips are open, arms come out to a T. Take your gaze over that left hand. Imagine a line of energy from one fingertip to the opposite fingertip. Breathing into your belly. Shoulders are soft. This is a pose of strength, focus, and stability. Keep your gaze steady. Engage your glutes. Shoulders are open. Swing that right arm over. Imagine you're holding a ball between your hands. You're activating your core, sinking deeper into that left hip. Start to lengthen that left knee, drop your hand towards the shin or floor, lengthen that right arm up towards the ceiling. And then spin down, both hands frame that left foot, soften neck and head. Focus on that left hip right behind your knee and calf. Deep belly breath. And now pivot that right foot so you're in a low lunge. 
plant that right hand onto the floor. Now you have the option of releasing that right knee onto the mat. That is an option. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Lifting that left hip. And then release your hand onto the mat. Take your vinyasa, stepping back into a plank pose. Releasing down to the floor, inhale up into an upward facing dog or just meet into your down dog. You can either take your vinyasa or meet in the downward facing dog. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Right hand onto the mat or forearm onto your right thigh. Lift your left arm up. You're coming into a twist. Also opening your hip, your left hip. Generous bend to that right knee. And then opposite side, left hand onto the mat or forearm onto your thigh. Lift your right arm up. Breathe into that right hip. And then release, slowly roll up to standing. Placing, placing your weight on your heels. Slowly lengthening your spine. Palms open, inhale, exhale, side out. If I try to move you, it'd be difficult to do so. So notice that difference between standing and being passive, not truly really engaged with the body versus being active and present with your body. Imagining if I tried to move you, it'd be difficult to do so. You're so strongly grounded and rooted. And then release that mountain pose. You can notice that shift in that transition when you release a mountain pose. Take that right foot forward, left leg, left, left leg steps back, left foot in the diagonal. Bring your arms up to a T. That right knee is at a 90 degree angle. Keep your gaze steady over your right fingertips. See how it takes that extra level of concentration just to keep a steady gaze. Ground through your heels, hips are open, shoulders are drawn down. Core is active. And now release, or take that left arm, imagine you're holding that ball between your hand, keep a bend to that right knee, you're sinking a little deeper into that right hip. Then start to lengthen that right knee, right hand reaches the shin or floor. Take your left arm up. You can take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Sliding that shoulder back, lifting that left arm up. Bring your attention back to your breath. Your breath is supporting you in all these poses. Drop your hands so they're framing that right foot. Drop your belly towards that thigh. Soften neck and head. Concentrate on that right hamstring, right hip. And then start to pivot that left foot. So now you're in a low lunge. Optional left knee onto the mat or not. Press that left hand directly beneath your shoulder. Lift your right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. And then release that right hand. Your choice, downward facing dog, or take your vinyasa. Line pose, upward facing dog and down dog. Sequence of poses. Inhale here, exhale. Start to lift your left leg, bend your left knee, stack your hips. This pose is one of strength, generous breath and release your foot back down towards the floor. Opposite side, lift that right leg, bend that right knee, stack your hips. 
And then release your foot back down towards the floor. Shift into your plank pose. Pull that plank pose. And then drop your knees onto the mat. And then shift your belly onto the mat. From here, shoot your fingertips behind you, palms facing each other. Tops of the feet can remain on the floor. You can lift your feet, inhale up. Exhale, release four more times, inhaling up. So I'm very purposely drawing my shoulder blades together, activating my core, being gentle with my lower back, mid back, upper back. My glutes are engaged as well. There's an activation in my quads. Exhale, release. Move with your breath, finding that inhale to help support that lift. Exhaling as you release. And inhale up again. Half of that fifth round, both arms come out. You're going to lift your arms and lift your legs. Hold. Inhale, exhale, and then release. Right cheek onto the mat. Drop your arms, your hands. Let your breath collapse, meaning let your breath be whatever it needs to be. Inhale, exhale, side out. Being attentive with the breath, softening the rest of the body. Three more breaths. Inhale, exhale. And then after those three breaths, we're gonna move through one more round. Shoot your fingertips behind you. And I can shoot them behind you or you can interlace your fingers. Five rounds. Inhaling up, exhaling, releasing. Either fingers interlaced or not. Engage your glutes. Very purposely bring your shoulder blades closer together. Using that inhale to find that lift. And that exhale to release. And after you've completed that, those five rounds, both arms that come up, palms facing each other, legs come up and hold. Inhale, exhale. Try to soften neck and shoulders. Don't crunch up your shoulders next to your inner your neck. And then release, opposite cheek onto the mat, drop your arms. Inhale, exhale, soften your body. Notice that contrast, your body was just very active. Notice that stark contrast as you release and let go and soften. Noticing there's value here. As we soften and let go with our physical bodies, that supports us emotionally and mentally as well. That is part of a holistic yoga practice. Three to five more breaths here.
Inhaling and exhaling. You can start to release the pose, lift into an upward facing dog. From your upward facing dog, shift into a downward facing dog. Pull that down dog. Release and open, front the lower back, mid back, upper back. If you have the choice of taking one more vinyasa, go for it. Plank pose, upward facing dog. Otherwise, remain in your downward facing dog. We all find ourselves in that down dog. Lift your left leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. And now left knee towards that left elbow, hover. And then lift your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. This time, left knee towards that right elbow, hover. Lift your leg using that core strength, bend your knee, stack your hips. And then release that foot back down towards the floor. Generous breath, inhale, exhale. You can take a quick vinyasa. Otherwise, we meet in downward facing dog, lift our right leg, bend our right knee, stack our hips. Right knee towards that right elbow. Lift your leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. Right knee now towards your left elbow, opposite elbow. And then lift your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. Deep belly breath, release your foot back down towards the mat. If you wanna take one last vinyasa, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, we meet at our child's pose. Settling into our breath, settling into our hips. Inhaling and exhaling. So start to take that left hand towards the right corner of the mat. Hold here, elbow floats off the mat. And then release. Now right hand towards the left corner of the mat. And then release here. Ground your palms onto the mat. We'll lift up. Hands are beneath our shoulders. Knees, hips with distance apart. Press that left hand onto the mat. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then we'll shift into a needle pose, dropping that right shoulder onto the mat. You can lengthen that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then release. Inhale, exhale. This time, our left palm, left arm lifts up towards the ceiling. And then drop that left shoulder onto the mat, lifting that right arm as you shift into this twist. Inhale, exhale, release, shift into that tabletop. Take a cow and cat pose, maybe an extra one, two, or three. Protect that lower back, mid back, upper back. Move at your own pace with a cat and cow pose. And then you'll start to shift out of your tabletop palm to sit. You're gonna bend your knees. We're gonna shift into a boat pose. In that boat pose, 
palms face up towards the ceiling. And then lift your legs as high as you can. If you want extra support, take your hands behind your knees. Either hands behind your knees or arms lifted, lift your chest, lengthen your legs. And then release your legs here, drop your elbows onto the mat. If you're comfortable here, remain here. Otherwise, drop your head all the way back, opening your, thro your throat. I'm lifting my abdomen up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And then exhale, release, palms face up towards the ceiling. Let's inhale here, exhale, side out. Start to lift your arms up overhead. And then take your time here, finding a full body stretch here, releasing any tension throughout the spine, lower back, hips. You can point your toes, flex your heels here. Three to five more breaths here. Now start to release that full body stretch, bend your knees, feet float off the floor, and then roll a little bit to the left, to the right, massaging that lower back. And start to release that left leg onto the floor. Lift that right leg up. Interlace your fingers right behind your thigh. Hold here. You can rotate that ankle. We tend to not place a lot of attention to our heels, feet, or our toes. Take a moment here. And after you've had a few moments of that rotation, Start to drop your leg towards the left and towards the right, either keeping a sway, you can sway back and forth, or if you wanna remain in one spot for a little longer and explore there, go for it. And release, bend that right knee, take that hands right around that right knee, round your spine, forehead towards that knee, hold, and then drop your head back. Now we'll start to lengthen our left leg up and trace your fingers behind your thigh. Take a moment here to place some attention on your heels, your toes, rotating your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. And then after you've taken a few moments there, you're gonna to start to sway your leg towards the left, towards the right, allowing it to drop heavy either towards the right or towards the left. You can remain and explore one side. Finding that breath, supporting you and deepening into that flexibility. Notice what's being activated.
Inhale. Exhale, start to bend that left knee. Grab that knee with your hand. Round your spine, forehead towards your knee. And then drop your head back. Start to lengthen your legs here. We're going to start to settle into our Chavasana. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to take a few deep breaths. We're going to take some intentional deep long breaths. Inhale and exhale, Re reacquaint yourself, remind yourself of what that full breath is like and find a comfortable breath and know that throughout your week, you can return to this breath at any time. Again, we're cultivating attentiveness and presence with our body. So that would be you during the week, being more attentive with yourself, with your breath, welcoming a deep long breath. At any point, inhale here, exhale, and sigh it out. And then you can allow your breath to return to its regular rhythm. Now, throughout your Shavasana, if you do prefer to practice in deep intentional breaths, you can do that, but either approach works. You can allow your breath to fall and rise naturally or take deep long breaths. There's benefits to either approach. This pose is a practice of being versus doing. We're very action and oriented using a lot of mental faculties. This is about being, just kind of sensing and feeling and observing. And there's nothing wrong with doing, it's just culturally, we tend not to have more public spaces of just observing and being and sensing. So take a moment here in the Shavasana, appreciating this opportunity to be, and thus, and by doing so, letting go, releasing and receiving physically, mentally, emotionally, anything that supports you. Soften forehead, jaw, neck, and shoulders. These are key areas that subconsciously, unconsciously restore some tension or clench. Soften down the length of your arms to your wrist, palms, and fingertips. Noticing your hands are not grasping anything. They're open and soft, letting go. Soften the upper back, mid back, and lower back. The area around your tailbone. Your hips behind your knees, down to your ankles, heels, and toes. Softening further towards the ground. Just observing, no judgments.
And then we'll start to shift our attention back to our breath. Inviting a generous and leisurely inhale and exhale. Restoring movement to our fingertips and our toes. Invite a generous and leisurely breath. And you can invite a full body stretch. You can remain on your back or turn your body to the left or right, to the side, allowing it to remain heavy and relaxed. And once again, returning to that leisurely breath where there is no hurry, inhale and exhale. Take another breath. And you can start to slowly release here and shift into a seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Moving so slowly and intentionally, you're still with your body, with your breath, with your experience. Lengthen your spine, soften your shoulders, and then we'll take a moment to reflect here. Then when we honor our breath, we're honoring our experience and that we're capable of slowing down and returning to our breath at any time. So on that note, let's take our hands in front of our heart center and in gratitude. Let's inhale here and exhale. And in the tradition of yoga, the highest in me sees the highest in you. May we walk with each other in gratitude.